Make sure to watch the lynda.com tutorials for this week because they go into a lot greater detail here than I am. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify, I can get rid of my trace clipped here, and modify um, my load thumbs. So I'm adding in here that thumb loader is a new loader and I'm putting it in a container variable which is a sprite. A sprite is a single frame movie clip of a new sprite and then I add the container. At the bottom I've got container dot add child thumb loader and I've added an event listener to my thumb loader that'll call the thumb clicked command. Thumb clicked is going to get a path which is my variable path name of a string type I'm going to get the current target content loader info dot url. This will give me the url of the current path. So my path equals that path dot substring. So I'm going to get a substring to the last index of the slash plus one. This gives me just the name of the file, image one dot jpeg, image two dot jpeg. Then I'll load the request for the that file in the Seamus folder. Again, the lynda.com tutorials go really heavily into detail step by step on this and I'm not repeating them, I'm just giving you an overview of how it should look. Oops, and I got rid of my clicked there, but I did not get rid of my clicked. here so I can get rid of my button mode and my event listener on the larger file because I don't need them in here. We'll try this again. So now my mouse changes over on each one of these and will take me to the image of the file. So create your own slideshow you can do it either the way it does on lynda.com where you have images that fill the entire page or you can do it the way I did here with smaller images that I then centered. But you need to have one with 10 different images and if you want to make your thumbnails, thumbnails a little larger you can do a counter for 1 to 5 and then start a second row. So you've got a few ways of doing that or you could put it on the side. I'll let you choose where your thumbnails are going to be. So that's what you need to do for next week. Watch the lynda.com tutorials because they fill in with a lot more detail than my tutorials did this week and the two together will help you make this.